Center View Data Funnels link your data to the tables and Corda images that display the data within your dashboard. Center View can connect to practically any data source, including a database, spreadsheet, text file, HTML table on a web page, Business Objects Universe, or Salesforce.com. A helpful wizard guides you through the process of connecting to your data. Let's begin with the example of connecting to a database. Create a data funnel by clicking on the data funnel button on the toolbar. Give your data funnel a name. Since we want to use the wizard to create this data funnel, we can click Next. Databases are the most common location for dashboard data. Database data funnels let you link database data into your dashboard. Since this is the default data source, we can simply click Next. CenterView offers four options for connecting to databases. A database alias, JNDI, JDBC, or ODBC. In general, it is best to use a database alias to connect to your database. An alias contains all the necessary JDBC connection information. This lets you reuse database connection information between data funnels and dashboards. Now you can see the list of aliases. If you have already created an alias for your database, you can simply select it and click Next. But in this case, we don't have such an alias yet, so we will click Create. Let's name the alias Company DB. For our example, we will be connecting to a MySQL database. Here you can enter the settings needed to connect to your database. If you do not have this information, contact your company's database administrator or IT department. Enter the username, the password for that user, the host or server name, and the port. For MySQL, this is set to the standard value. Now we can test the connection. If there is a problem, an error message will be displayed in the box. If all the settings are correct, a success message will be displayed in the box. Once the connection is working, click Next. Select the particular database you want to connect to, and then click Finish. You have now created a database alias. In the future, you can simply use this alias without needing to specify the connection settings. The alias you just created is selected by default, so you can simply click Next. Next, we specify the SQL query to retrieve the data. We'll be using the employee table for this example, so expand the table's information by clicking the plus sign to the left of the table name. Begin typing the query. CenterView's powerful autocomplete feature will suggest the names of SQL commands, tables, and columns as you enter the query. To enter a column name, you can double click the name or you can drag the column name onto the query box. Finish typing your query, and then click the Preview Query button to see the results of your query. If the data looks right, click Next, and then Finish. You can now easily connect your data funnel to a graph. Replace the graph's data funnel with your new data funnel. See how your data comes to life. CenterView can easily connect to almost any database so that you can begin visualizing your data in a matter of minutes.